Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video today. Talking about all the new things that are coming on the 23rd. Things that were extremely surprising that, because they literally just like, yo, they just dropped it on a YouTube video right here in the Developer Diaries Volume 3. Um, it's some interesting things coming early to NA, so I want to talk about them and what it specifically means by us getting this early and not along with other things. So first things first, an entire year early, we're going to be getting servant coins added. Uh, servant coins are what unlock a pen skills, and they also are what's going to get you to level 120. Because um, on JP side, you can get units to level 120. Uh, and there's also a pen skills, which a pen skills, which I've for the most part kind of ignored talking about because they, we didn't have them yet really. But really what a pen skills are, they're basically like passives. Uh, each a pen skill, the most important of all of them is the a pen skill that gives, uh, or actually let me see, I can look at it right here on an event list. I can just look up at me. Oh no, actually let me go to the NA survey real quick. You can see my targeted ads specifically at me at Troll and Toad because I've been looking at buying Yu Gi Oh cards. All right, let me see event servants. Literally, it doesn't matter. Any servants, let's look up Aries real quick just because it's easier to show. These are upend skills, each is kind of different, but the most important one is this one is the second upend skill, which is the mana loading because this is the one that starts battle with NP gauge, which is either 10% at level one and 20% at level uh, 20. And this is huge for a lot of units because it means that basically you don't need a max unlimited break kaleidoscope anymore. What you need is basically either one kaleidoscope or a unit that doesn't really... Like there's a lot more you can do. Like for example, Arash, if you give him just a 50% starting NP um, CE, have level 10 of his second skill upend and then level 10 of his regular skill, he already has 100%. So that's the kind of thing where I'm talking about here of why it's kind of... Um, these upend skills are kind of like... This one specifically is super important for a lot of units because it does help a lot to have the starting NP gauge. It can help out a lot. Um, the other thing I'll also say is that these other ones specifically, they're kind of like... Eh, they don't always need to be get them. I think for the most part you should only really get them if you really like the unit. That's the kind of basics that we have here. But also with upend skills, they also come with specific like... Uh, where are they? Up end. They come with very specific sets of things, so you can see here. Uh, they are also different from what your skills are usually. So that's something to keep in mind with up ends as well. But those are coming along with the level 120. Totally unexpected for them to be doing this so early. Because, again, it's an entire year early. And here's why um, it's a little bit weird for them to be giving this a little bit early. You need a holy grail and a certain amount of coins to actually get a unit to level 120 uh, to get them to the next level. And uh, <laughs> it's really, really, really expensive to do this, by the way. On JP, when this released, um, okay, so let me just tell you, the Ember cost to get a 5 star from level 90 to 120 uh, the amount of embers needed to just get, take a unit from level 90 to 120, if you're using 4 stars, it's between uh, 12,790 12, to 15,348. It's between that ballpark. And if you're using 5 star embers, it's uh, 4,264 between 5,116. Uh, 5, Extremely huge difference. Now, in JP, when this came out, we got brand new farming uh, levels for uh, QP, and we also got it for embers. Because not only that's just the the embers I mentioned for how expensive it's going to be, for the actual cost of uh, QP that you need, it's insane <laughs> the amount you need. To give an example here, because uh, this we're funny enough we're getting this with the update here. We're getting an update from 999, this being the max QP, to this being the max QP now. Just to show you, like, hey, you're going to need a lot of more QP nowadays. Also, the other thing is a full full screen display for even more servants on their Noble Phantasms. That's great, before I start getting into this specifically. Uh, also, the push, push servant function, just to show people, hey, yo, this is my favorite uh, unit. Please use them, I guess, which is pretty funny. I'm definitely going to be using that with Quetz, because she's my girl. But anyway, to get back to this, to the servant coins and things like that, so... Just to give some quick 
references to everything. For upends and level 120 grail, uh, grail coin cost, every servant has three new passive skills. Each passive skill costs 120 coins to unlock 360 in total. And by the way, if you're wondering where this is from, this is me literally looking up the someone on the uh, 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 Fago Reddit has kind of done a lot of this is e333 but i'll probably just leave it here so you could see the full breakdown here but this is getting data from places we already know in general so just to continue on just to give credit where credit's due on this though every grail past level 100 is two levels so each one also costs 30 coins so going from 100 to 120 requires 300 coins bond related rewards because you get coins based on your bonds for bond one through six you get five coins each so 30 in total for bond seven through nine you get 10 coins each so that's 30 total for bonds 10 through 15 you get 20 coins each which is 120 in total uh between all the bonds oh man is it really seven for nine? yeah i guess yeah np level rewards if you're an ssr with 90 coins per np level so if you're np1 you get 90 coins and then it's two you get 180 and then so on and so forth for limited and story lock sr is 50 coins per np level and if you're a permanent sr it is only 30 coins this is huge if your favorite is a permanent sr because you're in for a world of pain as we go into this a little bit further for three star servants 15 coins per np level two stars at six coins and for one stars that's two, uh, two coins uh the ember cost i've already mentioned for now here's the minimum np bond in levels to uh 120 srs and ssrs for level for an ssr um it is level 120 with zero upends it is mp2 and bond 12 that is what you need if you want them to be level 120 and have one upend, it's an MP3 and bond 14. For level 120 uh, and two upends, you need MP4 and bond 15. For level 120, you would need uh, for all for level 120 and three upends, you need MP level six and bond 12. Kind of crazy to think of. Hey, bond six, and I know this because I remember Lerp also getting bond six with the new Tamamo Vich that was released at the time of this getting out uh, at the same time. For limited st and story locked SRs, for level 120 with zero upends, you need MP3 at least and bond 14. For level 120 and one upend, you need MP5 and bond 15. For level 120 and two upends, you need MP8 and bond 13. For level 120 and 3 up ends, you need NP10 and Bond 14. That's for a limited or story locked SR. If you're a permanent SR, <laughs> for level 120 and 0 up ends, you need NP level 4 and Bond 15. For level 120 and 1 up end, you need NP8 and Bond 15. For level 120 and 2 up ends, you need NP12 and Bond 15. For level 120 and 3 up ends, you need NP17 and Bond 14 for a permanent SR. And the ones that are <laughs> permanent SRs are ones like Hercules. They are the SRs that are always in banners that in theory you will always get. I have never gotten one past NP level 5. At most, I only have, I think, 3 permanent SRs that are at NP5. And I've never even seen them... And their bonds are not at bond 15, I can tell you that much, so I'm not going to be able to deal with any of the permanent SRs. Um, for Welfares, it's a little different. Funny enough, uh, on NA, we are technically going to be getting Welfares with Servant Coins before on JP. Because on JP, the answer is, wait. You actually can't get them. So here's the one thing that I'm actually pissed about. I can't get my Samba Quets to level 120 if I wanted. Because... <laughs> The Servant Coins are tied to an event that has never fucking been rerun, <laughs> so I can't get her to level 120. I think I could probably unlock an Upend skill if I get her to uh, bond high enough. But yeah, they never they never brought that back, so she's never been back on JP, so it would actively, I would have to probably not get any Upend skill. And specifically, let me see, for, she's definitely at least NP5. And she's high bond, so I might be able to do But level 120 might be kind of out of the way for me, for her at least. Um, and I, I will say again, when you look at specifically unlocking all the upends, it's really expensive. But I should again mention that most people only really open up the second upend. And you can see kind of why. Because the other upends are kind of situational at best. So you don't really need to prioritize them over anything else. It's kind of like, if you want to get them, then fine. You love this unit, go for it. Um, 
be with God in their service at, at that point, I guess. Uh, so yeah, we've known for a while that this is very expensive. The thing that kind of hurts us, though, is that we're not going to be able to... It's going to actually be impossible. Like, I really do love my uh, my level 100s that I got right now. But without that five-star stage for grinding, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Like, I think someone did the... You would have to... Even with lotto grinding, which I do a lot, you wouldn't be able to get... You would need so many boxes just to do one unit. Like, I have so much crazy cash and backup supplies of a lot of things, and I don't think I'd be able to get anyone really to level 120, not with what I have, and I have a lot of stuff kind of saved in the background. So yeah, that's coming early. I do like that this is coming a full year early, but they really should have brought the, um, they should have brought the stage with it. It actually makes me wonder if the stage will be included and they just don't want to bring it up. But we'll see. The other thing, because I'm sure people are going to be wondering. So the other thing that kind of debuted when this debuted was Pity. We're not getting Pity a year early. <laughs> this is not happening. <laughs> so I can tell you that right now for free. If it happens, it will be the craziest fucking thing in the world. I can tell you that right now. I'll gladly eat crow if I'm wrong on this. Just because this was included with the... Um... The anniversary and this came with pity i don't think you can expect pity to come here but to be honest this looks way worse without pity even for um yeah it just doesn't look, it's not a good look to have this high of a cost and not have pity and it's not going to be here for another year because their hands are kind of tied behind their back <laughs> because if na had um pity a year early it'd be kind of like is it fair to say he'd be kind of a slap in the face for all the JP members? Yeah, it, it, it kind of would be, I guess. I would be kind of pissed to hear that NA got it early when, for the most part, they kind of get stuff. They get the We get the big stuff around. We get certain things early, but never huge things. I think this is actually legitimately the biggest thing we've ever received early. Um... It's up there for sure. It'd be kind of like if they had decided to give us the four star stick. It like for very, we get stuff that is on par with JP. A lot of people will probably look and say like, actually, we're getting less. It's not really. We we get about the same, just two years delayed. And occasionally we get events that they don't have, but that's because we're making up for the fact that we're getting events that JP has only had. So it kind of balances itself out. If we got something like Pity like an entire year early. I don't know. It would be good for us, that's for sure. I would be happy with it. It would kind of make me um, change a lot of the ways I would be summoning. Because currently all my plans are with the forefront of... Well, Pity's not here for another year. So I have a time to kind of like save up. Like imagine Castoria with Pity. How angry... Actually, I think that would probably make angry a lot of people, funny enough. If you gave them Pity early. Because then it's like damn well no one was actually prepared for pity to be here a year early but i don't know maybe i'm talking a little bit ahead of myself but this is just something i felt like it had to be brought up because it was related to it in some ways so yeah i really do like that a lot of these things are coming early as always i like it when quality of life stuff comes up early the only thing i'm missing is the fact that i don't think that these new events are coming with it so as long as those new events aren't coming with it this is not as good as the thing that is that they think this is actively kind of terrible without all the specific other things that came with it. But I guess not terrible. It's more like we're getting a... We're getting... It's, it's kind of like to be released in Dokkan. We're getting something way earlier than we should. And we're being shown of like... It's going to be harder for us to get level 120. Unless, of course, I'm wrong on this and they end up adding the, the stages that are not here. But I feel like they would mention the stages if there were specifically the new stages coming with it but i just don't see any mention of it anywhere in the video or anywhere just in, in anywhere mm. uh, hmm. so yeah i just don't see anything like that coming up but yeah that's it everyone that's it for today's video um if you have any specific thoughts about this feel free to leave them down below because again this is something that is I don't know, interesting for the most part, and gonna be very, 
very there's got to be someone out there i know gay for edison if there's anyone who was like who has a sr servant who is at least np12 uh mp17 um it'd probably be my friend on fago called gay for edison because he has a person has because i don't actually know if it's a what the gender is so I, for the most part I'll, I'll just call them they to be fair if you're well, actually you can be you can be straight and gay for Edison at the same time. Anyway, <laughs> what the fuck was I talking about? Anyway, they're the only person who I've seen who has a story locked SR at NP10 and level 100. Both of their Edisons are level 100. So if they're going to do this for Edison and they're going to make both their Edisons level 120, actually they would have to have so much goddamn servant coin now that I think about it. I'll give you an update on Gay for Edison, depending on how their levels are going on my friends list. <laughs> or maybe they'll do like everyone else and kind of wait for the actual 5 skills to be more. For the 5 EXP stages to be available to us or something. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Have a good night. Peace out. Goodbye.